Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm a content manager for Kaplan's NGN Prep Initiatives. During this video, we will look at examples and discuss the three types of closed questions. I will also provide you with some item writing tips as you prepare to write your own closed items. You may be asking yourself, what purpose do closed items serve? From the National Council of State Boards of Nursing, NCSBN, we know that closed items can measure layer three of the clinical judgment measurement model. In a closed item, layer three outlines the cognitive aspects of clinical decision making that are directly measurable and are the basis for the development of NGN items and case studies for the NCLEX exam. The cognitive skills range from cue recognition to the evaluation of outcomes. So what is a closed item? In a closed item, the candidate selects one option from a drop-down list. These drop-down lists can be used as words or phrases within a sentence, table, or chart. This is a closed drop-down item. Three to five options can appear in each drop-down, and each sentence with a drop-down can be viewed similar to a traditional multiple-choice question. This closed question contains two independent drop-downs, one per sentence. What you see on the screen is not two closed drop-down questions. Instead, this is a multi-part, single closed item. Per question, you can author up to five sentences, with five drop downs in total. Here's another close item. It looks nearly identical to the last question. However, drop down rationale question. Cause and effect relationship. An XY connection between the drop down. Due to or as evidenced by is written in the question stem. Your question may have one cause and one effect termed a single dyad, or your question may have one cause and two effects termed a single triad. The example on the screen is a single triad closed drop-down rationale question. Here is a third type of closed item, a closed drop-down table in which information is completed within the table or chart. Again, three to five options can appear in each drop-down. Now, let's talk about a few item writing tips. First, be consistent. If the first drop-down in your closed item has three options, be consistent and provide three options in subsequent drop downs in the same question. Second, ensure all answer options are plausible and grammatically correct. Third, determine if you unfairly provided clues about the correct responses. Let's discuss cluing or cueing. Recognize cues. See what I did there? Pause this video and read the questions and answer options in full. Consider whether a word savvy student could pick out the probable correct answers. Highlighted in yellow are the correct answers. So what clues are provided? Including the rationale to show the client's baseline and for medication administration unfairly cues and directs the student to the correct answers, even if the student lacks sound clinical decision making. Selecting acetaminophen 650 milligram PO would not be grammatically correct or fit in the first drop down. Perform a lab draw is correctly chosen in the first drop down, then that answer choice is no longer plausible for the second drop down. That's why it's important to have different options in the drop downs, especially if asking first priority, second priority, etc. With a few edits, this will be a good question. Lastly, here is an example of a four option multiple choice question. Let's take a look at how this multiple choice question with some light edit could be transformed into a closed drop down question. If rewritten like this, we can ask the PN student to fill in the blanks. As you review the question you have either written from scratch or transformed, ask yourself, is the question written coherently? Is the topic of the question one that an entry level nurse would encounter in clinical practice? Does all of the information provided seem realistic? Is the practice current? Finally, is the question authentic and appropriate for the concepts you are seeking to assess? Thank you for watching this video. I hope these examples and tips are helpful for you. Happy writing.